You know, you've really, uh, you know, you've grown up when you uh, can admit your mistakes, you can admit your weaknesses. And I've got a weakness, folks. I do. I do. And no, I know I have a weakness for fat boy razors. Yes, we all know that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about I have a hard time getting a good lather out of a natural bristled brush like this badger hair here that was kindly sent to me a while back. Gorgeous antique handle and then the new knot on top. It's still a little bit shedding. Doesn't smell bad, though. But I have the hardest time getting... I, like, the initial lather is good, but then the follow-up pass, it always breaks down for me, and I don't know why. So I've been practicing this week with a brush that was sent to me by the same people that made my synthetic Sinatra Lennon Signature Series brush, uh, DS Cosmetics. So they wanted to send me a brush to review, and so I'm going to try it out. Uh, there'll be information below for where to find it and everything like that. But, uh, so it's a natural badger brush, and I want to show it to you. It's been soaking here in the water. And it's got a handle that's similar to the one that's on mine, you know, the similar shape, but this one's all black. And I'm going to be using a hard soap today, because it's really easy. When I say that I have a hard time lathering with a natural bristle brush, I have an easy time using uh, a shaving cream, like Taylor of Old Bond Street, like a really soft. But this cella is hard, you know, it's a kind of a hard soap. And I was having a hard time with it. And I've been practicing, and I've been watching YouTube videos. Yes, even I watch YouTube videos to get more tips. I'm not too proud to admit my weaknesses and, you know, not talk about my strengths, hopefully. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to shave, make a lather, and something else that I never do. I'm going to use a bowl. What? You're going to use a bowl? Oh, I'm so disappointed. But yes, it's going to be a little bit easier to get that lather good and, you know, worked in rather than just face lather like I normally like to. So, using a bowl, using a natural bristle brush from a badger, using some hard soap, shaving with a Rockwell with a feather blade in it, the Rockwell 6S, cannot go wrong. I will not be using Barbasol today. All right, I took a shower, did my hair. It's shining in the light. You see that? See? Yeah. I hope I don't get sunburned by the end of this video. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I, you let the, the natural, you don't have to soak a, a synthetic brush like this one, which is why I prefer them. There's a little, it's less work. And the less work I have to do, the happier I am when it comes to certain things like shaving, you know, like some things you need to work hard. But in this case, anyway, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just rambling. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Anyway, I'm letting it, uh, it's been soaking in some hot water, and I'm going to squeeze most of the water out, just like that, okay? And I think that's a problem that I have, is I have too much water in my brush. And I also don't put quite enough soap in, because I'm used to, it seems like with the synthetic brushes, uh, I don't have to use as much. But with this natural one, I'm going to go ahead and make a big load up the brush, as they say. I'm gonna load it up big time, and hopefully, I'll have a, some more success with it. Because I don't want to be a YouTube shaver guy and be, you know, hobbled by the fact that I, I have a hard time with a, with a natural bristle brush. My goodness! All right, I'm loading this thing up. Oh, this is. I got high hopes, folks. I got high hopes for myself. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you rooting for me out there. I th at least I think I can. Could be the voices in my head, which... All right, so that looks pretty good. I, I that actually used more cello than I've ever used before. Ooh. And look at that, look at that. It matches my hair, look at this, ding. I don't know what's going on up there. I need a haircut, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna get all this good lather off here. I don't wanna waste any. I love the way the sunlight shines in that. And, oh, I got some of my fingers. I'm gonna get rid of that. You can't save every bit of, of shaving cream, folks. You just can't. I'm going to put it in the bowl. And then... I'm gonna, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to get a little hot water in this bowl first. Because I haven't been warm... You know, you like a nice scuttle. A nice a nice shaving scuttle, as they're called. This is a really cheap one. I bought this. Is, in fact, this is the only decent bowl I have. I, in fact, well, not the only one. I have a stainless steel one in there. It's a little bit smaller. But I think I need a bigger one. You know, the kind with a handle on it. You know, you see some really... They got ridge, ridges on the bottom to, to make a good lather. I don't have any of that fancy stuff because, you know, I face lather all the time. So anyway, I got a little bit of water in there now. And I'm just going to work up a lather and see if I can make this work for more than one pass. I'm good on one pass, but then it always seems to break down. And I, I've been practicing. 
I've been practicing. I want to be the best version of myself as I can be. <laughs> oh, this is weird. All right. All right, let's see here. Look at that. You like that noise? That's, is that anti-ASMR? Oh, that clinking, the clanking, the noise, 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 noise. Oh, this is doing well. Look at this. Ooh, you hear that? Sounds like the, the ocean. All right. Look at all this. Look at this. That's not bad. But like I said, I'm, I'm pretty good on the first, first pass. Then it always seems to break down after that. Okay. Put some more uh, water up on my face. Oh, that's some good smelling stuff. This Chella almond scented shaving soap. It smells so good. Such a good product. Not expensive. Available around the world. Made in Italy. Oh man, this stuff is so good. I'm gonna have to buy a bottle of Amaretto and sip it as I do this. I'm gonna do an all almond, all cherry, marzipan scented shave while I drink Amaretto, Amaretto sours from my shaving bowl. All right, I'm gonna stick the, the brush down in the bowl there. Let me look, show you. Just cause I never do this, look at this. I look like a real shaver now, look at that. Twinkle. <laughs> it's dumb. Oh my gosh, I'm in a mood today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I've done one shave on this feather blade, and I gotta tell you, I uh, did a little test a couple days ago. Now, if you watch my channel a lot, if you know that I pretty much exclusively use feather blades. But somebody, I believe it was Mike Vance, friend of the channel, sent me in that giant care, pack, care package, a bunch of Astro Blades, green ones that everyone loves. So I said, I gotta see what all this is all about. Now, I may have tried them in the past and don't remember because my memory is terrible. It's probably because I'm not paying attention at the time or I'm thinking about something else, you know? But um, anyway, so I tried it out and I didn't like them. They weren't, they didn't give me as sharp and clean and fresh a shave as my feathers do. So I'm wondering, if I'm spoiled, using what has always been purported to be the sharpest razor blade that you can buy, these feather blades, because it just didn't give me a very good shave, and I only used it for that one shave, and I put a feather back in, and I was using my Rockwell, I was using, you know, all the, whenever I test a new product out, I like to use, like if, I'm, if it's a new shaving cream, I'll use familiar razors and brushes so that uh, there's just that one variable that's the unknown. So I put the Astro Blades in Rock Will, and I felt that it was lacking after the first pass. So I did, you know, two more passes like I normally do, and it eventually got me shaved, but I felt like it just wasn't as smooth and as sharp of a blade as I like. So I'm kind of stuck in this feather limbo where, uh, my skin seems to be able to handle it. Feather blades. I know that's not for everyone. It's, you know, sort of like the Mula R41 is not for everyone. But uh, yeah, so I didn't film it. Because I've got some other things planned. Including next week, Monday. Monday's shave. It was right before my birthday. And now I'm one of those guys where I, I feel like as you get older, you shouldn't make a big deal about your birthday anymore. Kind of like Don Draper said in one of the Mad Men episodes. But, so I'm not going to make a big deal about my birthday, but I am going to, in celebration of my birthday next week, use the vintage Barbasol in that big tube that I've showed off a few times. All right, here we go, second pass. So look for that on Monday. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I hope it works. I did kind of a test run with that Colgate, you know, the vintage Colgate from the 50s. Well, I'm going to be using the Barbasol brushless from the 50s. As I'm talking to you, do you realize what I'm doing here? I'm doing a good job. I did it right. I think I just didn't have enough soap. Because the first couple of times when I was using the natural bristle brush, I, I think I, I just didn't have enough soap, I had too much water. But this is, this is an epiphany, folks. Now let me talk about the brush, since this is DS Cosmetics brush. It's, uh, there's their little logo on the bottom. Uh, they're out of China. They have an AliExpress shop, which I'll put a link to down below. 
and they're fairly well known in the wet shaving community. I, uh, you know, I, I sometimes get contacted by Chinese companies that are like, we want you to try our, you know, iPhone charger. You know, it's like, oh, well, that's not really what I do. And so when I got some emails from May over there in China, I was like, oh, is this another one of these? But then I realized, oh, no. They're legit. They've been making shaving brushes for, what does what their box say, 20 years? What does it say? DS shaving brush. Yeah, well, it doesn't say. I think it says on their, their alley. So anyway, this is the uh, box that it comes in. But yeah. So I'm glad that I didn't just like, you know, throw that in my spam folder. And uh, May is, is very nice and friendly in her emails. And it's been a nice working relationship with them. So yeah, DS Cosmetic. If you've ever been, you know, a little wary about buying stuff off AliExpress, uh, that's a company you can trust. <clears throat> I bought a uh, baseball jersey off of them and uh, it never came, it never arrived. So I know there have been horror stories of people buying like, you know, counterfeit Gibson electric guitars, you know, which are illegal in the United States and sometimes they get caught in uh, in customs and people, you know, spend $300 and they never get their money, never get their money back, never get their product. But DS Cosmetics on the AliExpress, you can trust them. The name you can trust. <laughs> If you believe that, then I got a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. Is that thing still for sale? Brooklyn Bridge? So many hipsters there, probably the price went up. But yeah, I'll be uh, next week. Barbasol birthday shave. Bobby Barbasol, the Barbasol boy, will be shaving with some old fashioned, oldie fashioned 50s Barbasol. All right, here we go. Let's give a somebody when I when I made a comment uh, about you know after I shave really smooth, I'm always touching my face. Somebody mentioned that and called it facebation. So <laughs> that's as close to not safe for work as, as I'm going to get saying that. Okay, look at that third pass. This oh this so anyway this brush. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible reviewing. I apologize. Please go watch uh, Kevy uh, or Paul H or Ken Surfs for if you want real uh, uh, shaving information. Mine is all just BS and nonsense that I just make up on the spot. Anyway, this is a good brush. Now, if you've ever used a natural badger hair brush, you know, they come in different grades. Like they have fine and super fine and extra fine and hot to trot. And, uh, so I'm not sure... Like there's one called silver tip, which is like the fanciest one. It comes from the softest uh, fur from the from the badger. Sorry about that phone call. I need to put that thing on airplane mode. This is the second time in a row I've had a phone call in the middle of a video, which it almost never happens. Now it's happened twice. Anyway, some people have a problem with uh, you know using animal byproducts, you know, you know fur and all that stuff, and you know I, I don't necessarily because I'm a meat eater and you know I don't I'm, I'm not part of that group. But if you are then you don't want to use one of these because it did come from a badger and the badger's not giving up his fur uh, without uh, without a fight, if you know what I mean. So uh, anyway, if you get one, badgers, sorry, what am I doing? I'm, sorry. I'm just like, I can't believe that I actually made a decent, uh, look, look how much is left. Look at that. I could do five more passes. I'm not going to, but I could. Uh, when you first start using uh, a badger brush, it does have a funky smell to it. And this one was no different. Now, I'm not smelling it right now, but badgers are kind of musty, you know, stinky creatures. I think they have musk glands that will permeate their fur. And so what people have told me to do and what I did was take your shampoo and uh, shampoo your, your brush before you use it to get some of that funk out. And you're still going to smell some, but it'll go away after a while and, uh, you know... And as you uh, fill it up with, with shaving soap, hold on. <laughs> there was a notification that said, you have a voicemail. I know. I don't, you don't need to stay and tell me. Anyway, shampoo it, clean it off. It won't be funky anymore.
But this is a soft one. Now, the other thing that you sometimes run into with natural bristle, bristle, <laughs> natural bristle badger brushes, that's a lot of alliteration there. Bobby Barbasol and his boar bristle badger brush. No, boar is a different thing. Boar brushes are, uh, have a much different kind of coarse hair from a, from a hog. But anyway, um, they sometimes shed, which is what I was trying to get at. Oy, oy, oy. So this, this vintage one that I love is still shedding. I haven't used it enough to keep it from shedding. And it's kind of annoying when, uh, you know, you're shaving and you have like these long badger hairs stuck to your shaving cream. But if you use it enough, it will eventually stop. So it's like uh, you got to invest some time into it to get rid of the funk, to uh, <laughs> increase the peace. Uh, no, to get rid of the, uh, the funkiness, to uh, get rid of the, uh, the shedding. You got to use it. You got to use it. But that's exactly why I like synthetics, because they don't stink. They don't shed and they're ready to go. They're much more forgiving for a beginning wet shaver to use a brush. So. Beginners, I would recommend synthetic, and then if you want to venture out into, uh, you know, badger hair, boar hair brushes, go for it. Go for it. Okay, folks, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, that's pretty good. Oh, I still got, you know, this shave was more about the brush than it was the shave today. So thanks to May over at DS Cosmetics for sending that to me and for, uh, Setting up the Sinatra Linen shaving brush. And I'll have links to all that stuff down below. All right, that's enough shaving. Now I'm gonna wash my face, some cold water. I forgot to pick out an aftershave. Look at this, look how much is left. So good. I'm gonna go, go down the street and give it to somebody, see if they wanna shave with it. I hate to waste it. Okay, let's see. Oh, I gotta dry off my face. The all right, get behind the ears. Everywhere, get everywhere, get everywhere. Okay, uh, shaving, aftershave, aftershave, aftershave. Ooh, I got some vintage stuff, but not right now. Not right now, that's for the next one. Um, what have I not used in a while? That I, I'm not gonna use that cella. I mean, I use the cella shit so, but I'm not using the cella cool because I don't wanna get knocked down again. <laughs> you know, you know what I used yesterday? I used this, and my eyes have barely gotten past how watery they were. I love this stuff, but you gotta use it sparingly. Um, I, you know, I hate to be a creature of habit, but I'm gonna go with the Osage today. The Osage rub. The old Osage. Not the Osage hammer. I'm kinda out of my, you know, ooh, ow. Oh, I'm out of my ultra-mentholated phase right now. Kind of like Picasso had his blue phase. I had my ultra-mentholated phase, and uh, luckily um, I'm on the other side, folks. So thanks for being there and supporting me through those dark, dark times. <laughs> right at rock bottom. And I was falling asleep with menthol crystals dripping out of my ears. Oh, it was terrible. Woo! That, that Osage rub is good stuff. It burns so good, and it smells... Interesting. It smells green. If anything could smell green besides like a plant, it's pretty mentholated too. I'm getting the tingle. I'm liking it. So anyway, DS Cosmetics, they make good brushes. They're out of China. You can check them out uh, at the link below. They're AliExpress shop. And uh, this stuff is good. I'm gonna go paint a house with this stuff. I wanna, I wanna save, but how long do you think this will last? I don't know. If I just set it there, it's gonna dry up pretty soon. But anyway, that's it. I feel like I've rambled too much. I've just been all over the place. I don't know why. Uh, I only had one cup of coffee this morning. That maybe that's why. That I have the opposite effect. If I don't have enough coffee, coffee, see, see, then I'm incoherent. Incoherent. So I better stop now. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Monday, the vintage brushless Barbasol will finally be used. I'm as excited as you are because I've been saving that thing for a special moment. And Girl Alex recommended that I use it for my birthday shave. So that's what I'm going to do. So everybody have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.